This is the place to go for anime, manga, comics, video games, all pop culture information. This is the place that you need to be. This program is brought to you by Black and Studios Entertainment Division. Remember, it's Black and. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're listening to the Elijah Bailey Show, Oklahoma's favorite podcast. Yeah. 100% auditorial pleasure. Dig it. All right, and three, two, one. Welcome back to the show from God's Own Wood, the podcast without end, where we believe that anime is a venture that not only major corporations would get into, but it's a venture that you love, that you're supporting, and you're dying for more of. So this merger with Crunchyroll is one of the biggest fucking things that's happened in the last 10 years, and we all love it. Let's go ahead and dive into today's show. So this is the 306th episode of the Elijah Bailey Show. Sorry for the late start. Uh, there's a lot, whole bunch of technical problems. I do appreciate Streamlabs for updating your software, doing all that shit. But come on, dude. You got to be more user friendly. Uh, it's cost me followers. It's cost me time. But remember, we are trying to make it to our next goal. So we are at 284 followers. So thank you, uh, Hierophant. It was our last follower, uh, which actually followed yesterday when we did our JoJo's Bizarre Adventure stream. Um, and we are on our way to 300, so we'll hit 290 here pretty soon, but at 300, uh, followers, we will do a, uh, we'll play the Dragon Ball Evolution drinking game while watching Dragon Ball Evolutions, I don't know why, it's, I guess we just want to get drunk, it's something that we're going to do, but at 300 followers, that's what we'll do, plus 10 subs, now Jstone812 is trying to get his follower count up, as well as the Buckety and HK Nikki. so make sure to follow them, because they will all be participating in that stream as well now before we get started i am going to switch over now like i said rifty beats is on youtube and on spotify we're going to switch over to spotify's playlist so that way we're not interrupted by any more commercials any of that bullshit and we're going to dive right into today's show so what we're starting off with is that jojo's bizarre adventure because i'm i'm diving into battle tendency over again and i love it but if you're new to the show, there's several things that we do. We have three different segments for the show. Segment one is our reviews for this month, along with the character that we're going to honor. Segment two is going to be our main subject or the news. And segment three is going to be anime and manga of the month. There's not a lot of releases this month, so this might be another quick stream. Uh, before we get into it, shout out to the Buckety. He's checking on me, trying to see how I've been doing. I have just made it back to work. For the first time since my uh, knee surgery and being out and shit, and it is a bitch, dude. My legs, like, I, just the amount of work I have to do to compensate for my leg while trying to walk correctly and shit, it's crazy. And then work, they acting like straight up crazy ass assholes, but it's okay. I'm doing fine. My knees just bother me a little bit today. I got a cup of joe. I'm awake. I am here. So let's keep the music going in the background. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Like I said, there's not too many releases or recommendations for this month. So we'll go ahead and go through them right now. Now there is... I think all of these are correct. I When I was going through these releases for this month, uh, some of them said... There was a shit ton that said to be announced. Then when I went back to an updated source, uh, it said that we only had X amount amount x amount of uh film releases so if you've heard of any of these if you've seen all of these because most of them have dropped at the beginning of this month then we're perfect now if you're watching the show live which you can do at any time if you're listening on any podcast platform we record the show live at 4 30 on sundays uh, for the elijah bailey show if you're a fan of a little bit of anime and you're jumping over here to see what this show's about a little bit of anime streams every other wednesday at 6 p.m every tuesday and thursday we have a little bit of lunch watch party where we watch a uh, set anime all the way through. We're in Vinland Saga right now, and on the Wednesdays that we're not doing the show live, we're doing movie anime movie watch parties, so make sure to join us here on twitch.tv forward slash Elijah underscore 5000 for the watch parties, because Facebook doesn't partake in that. So, your anime recommendations for the month of March. 
Uh, these first four dropped on March 4th. Today is March 13th, if you're watching live. Again, on Twitch.tv or Edge Gaming, EJB Gaming, Edge B Gaming on Facebook. We had Blue uh, Thermal from Telecon Animation Films dropped on March 4th. We had Doraemon Nobito Little Star Wars 2021 Shin A from Animation Shiragumi. We also had on March 4th, <laughs> Ensemble Stars Road to Show by David Productions. And then the last one on March 4th, well, the uh, the timeline was originally March 4th to the 13th, but it, it dropped on the 4th. The Legend of the Galactic Heroes Dai Nue, these Getotsu from Production IG. The last film that comes out this month uh, is going to drop on March 18th. Ega Oshiri Tante Shiriatru Shir Shiriarti Shiriarti. Uh, hopefully, you guys are saying that oh, a lot easier than I am. But that comes from Toei Animation. Uh, those are going to be your five films that drop this month, and the only animation series that drops this month is Ko Taro Lives Alone, which dropped a few days ago, March 10th, on Netflix. And I got to say that I love it. It's pretty, it's hilarious because it's a four year old that's living on his own, and then of course he meets an adult neighbor. And he's kind of worried about the kid. Then they become friends. They go to the bathhouse together. They go do laundry together. All kind of crazy zany shit. But those are going to be all your releases for March. Like I told you, there's not a lot this month. Uh, and it seems like we're getting we're going to have a lot of highs and lows when it comes to anime. But also, uh, as we go into our news segment, some things happen to one of our favorite news uh, uh, anime studios, which we'll get into into a minute. Let me see if I can pull up this video because I had this up and I had to shut down my fucking computer to uh start it back up because stream labs again thank you for your dedication but y'all you know he's kind of fucking up a little bit stream labs all right so let's go ahead and put this one out uh this is a good this is a good one because i'm actually on this episode this is episode 25 on jojo's bizarre adventure this is when cars uh becomes the ultimate being let me go ahead and shrink this down so our character that we are honoring today in today's episode is Carr, one of the pillar men. Uh, yeah, there we go. This is a scene from episode 25 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Battle Tendency, which is the season that he comes out in. Carr is the leader of the pillar men and is the designer of the stone mask, which is what the whole story revolves around, whether you're reading the manga or the anime. His goal is to evolve further, to become immune to sun rays, and thus he seeks the red stone of Aja to empower his mask battling the hormone users for its possession. He is ranked number one out of all the pillar men as the creator of the stone mask and vampires cars is a, one of the most influential characters in the series. His inventions having for or his invention, having for reaching repercussions for a number of major characters, such as Dio Brando and the Joe star family and the Zeppeli family. This beloved locked man is cars the leader of the pillar man and i like cars because cars was a villain he just wanted to get his shit done he's like i don't give a fuck about these people they want honor they want this fuck that you know so cars is your character that we are honoring right there that man with the plan and uh i heard some things about characters like there's some you know as me and buck talk about there's characters need a hug and there's characters that are just straight up villains uh, and we had this deal about azula who is the uh, the wannabe Fire Lord King uh, and is mad at her brother Zuko. Is she really a villain? I think she just needs a hug, you know? But Zuko beat her ass and she kind of broke down, whereas before she was tough as hell. But Cars is the character that we are talking about this week. And with that, we are going to take our first pause for the cause and we'll come back and we'll get into the news for this month uh starting with what happened to one of our favorite animation production companies and which anime titles are going to be gone for at least the next three weeks we'll be right back with episode 306 of the elijah bailey show right after this Finally worked up the courage to talk to your crush? Trying to escape the life of a leftover lady or a herbivore man? Then you're one click away from exchanging email addresses with the one you like. 
go to www.exchangeexchange.com and sign up as a new member and instantly start receiving emails straight to your phone from others in your area just like you. Go to school and tell your friends that Change Exchange is here for you to be able to message the one you love. Let Change Exchange change your life one exchange at a time. Friendships, relationships, pirate ships, or any kind of ships are not guaranteed as a result of using Change Exchange. Providing bankruptcy services throughout the state of Oklahoma, Bowler & Associates is a bankruptcy law firm based in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Their mission is to relieve you from threat of debt collectors, garnishments, repossessions, tax levies, foreclosures, and much more. Backed by more than 20 years of experience in the legal field, they excel in finding the quickest, most effective, and most affordable solution to all your legal and financial troubles. You can find them at Bowler Law on Facebook and also visit their website at www.bowlerlawfirm.com. Reach them at 405-733-3000. You can also email them at bankruptcy at bowlerandassociates.com. All right, folks, we are back. I finally got everything pulled up so I can hear the audio in my ear. And just like, this is okay. I'm just going to let you guys know because I just saw this. I hadn't been checking. But Edge Gaming, that dude, I guess he's pissed because we're using Edge Gaming. And he done made like seven other fucking channels which have like 2.5K or 3K followers. Fuck that motherfucker, bro. Y'all want to help me out. Y'all like the way the show goes. You want to support black-owned businesses and podcasts. Go ahead and hit that follow button on Facebook, on Twitch. Let's get these numbers up. And fuck him, dude. You're going to try to synonymize and take over this name. These are our initials, bitch. We own them, too. Don't be fucking trying to take over shit. But we're here. I'm here. Let's get back into anime. We're already 15 minutes in. Uh, Let's start off with the debauchery that happened this week on the 10th this comes from anime news network um toy animation hacks effects one piece dragon quest uh, adventure of die and delicious party precure digimon ghost game anime which i did not know that it affected so many and i when i first saw it i was like oh this is a lie toy didn't get hacked but toy animation announced on friday that on march 6 an unauthorized third party accessed the company's network which resulted in a suspension of uh suspension of part of the company's systems toy animation is investigating the matter and added the hack will affect the broadcast schedules for one piece dragon quest the adventure of die delicious party precure and digimon ghost game anime for Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Die, episode 73 will not air on Saturday as planned, and episode 31 will air instead. The animation staff will reveal at a later date what will air on March 19th. The Twitter account for Digimon Ghost Game uh, stated it will announce at a later date what will happen or what will air on March 20th. Due to the broadcast of a marathon, no episode was slated to air today on the 13th. The official website for the One Piece anime stated that the staff will announce more details about the show's scheduling after the episode uh, airs on March 20th. Uh, the Twitter account for Delicious Party Precure start, uh, stated the episode 6 of the show is delayed and will not air on March 13th as planned. Episode 4 will air on that day, which is today instead. So if you were watching Pretty Party Precure or Delicious Party Precure and didn't know why it is airing episode 4, this is why. I heard that One Piece is going to be off for at least three weeks and so is Dragon Quest uh, The Adventure of Die. So sorry, folks, you might want to go ahead and read the anime you know, at this time just to kind of help and hold you over until uh, these series come back. Now, it always sucks whenever a thing gets hacked or anything happens to anime because it's already hard fucking enough as it is for us to get the shit that we want. Um, but I think Toei has really stepped out in front of this and kind of kept their eye on the ball. And especially with everything being acquired, Crunchyroll, um, I think they have their their, uh, their bases covered. Now, this next piece of news got me because it's two of my one of my favorite creators. Well, basically two and one of my favorite series. This also comes from Anime News Network. Uh, Boichi draws new one piece cover a chapter featured Nami versus uh, Califa fight. Now, if you don't know Boichi, he did uh, Dr. Stone, which is more notable, which just ended. But for me, he started with Sun King Rock and that was a Korean manga that was just amazing action shonen about mafia high school kids the yakuza 
So the official Twitter account on uh, Oda's One Piece franchise announced on Saturday that Boichi will draw another cover chapter of the manga. This time, it'll be a fight between Nami and Khalifa. Uh, Weekly Shonen Jump will publish the manga in the 14th issue of the One Piece manga's magazine MOOC series. Uh, cover of the issue, which is going to drop on April 5th. Um, he previously drew a one shot for one piece in 2019 that covered a different chapter from the original manga. Um, but he, uh, Bochi later, uh, launched the one piece episode, a spinoff manga in the 10th issue of the one piece magazine in the summer of 2020 and ended the manga in magazine's 13th issue in December 21st. The manga adap- adapted show Hinata's one piece novel, a, a, which is like the uh, letter a novels um these novels also serialized in the one piece magazine so weekly shonen jump published the stories two uh, compiled book volumes in april and june of 2018 viz media uh has since released those uh which you can find one piece aces story on their account so be on the lookout uh for this cover and actually we're going to switch screens real quick as we go over here, this is the cover, uh, which is going to drop on the April 5th, which is going to have Nami versus Khalifa in it. So I think it's pretty cool, especially with One Piece Red getting ready to come out and some of the other stuff that we're getting now. Like, I'm not, I don't know. I know we're not going to talk about it today because the episode dropped, but episode uh, or chapter 1043 dropped and Luffy, is he Joey Boy? Does he have the Gomu Gomu no Mi? Does he have the Nico Nico no Mi? Does he have the Hito Hito no Mi? Hanman, there's so many different deals. Is the Wiseman fruit, what is, is Luffy like replicant of the, of the fucking Monkey King? Is this another spinoff from Dragon Ball that was inspired by Dragon Ball, which a lot of mangaka are? I don't know. I'm excited about it. Uh, we finally got some confirmation that after 800 years, that voice of Joy Boy is ringing again. Kaido and CP0 kind of get into it with him and Luffy, and there's a lot of shit going on. We are getting ready to reach the climax of this story, and Luffy is about to do some shit we ain't never seen before. And we're about to get clarification on this devil fruit, why it was so important, why it might not be important. Maybe we got it misconceived. Maybe this was a devil fruit that was changed by the Garosei. I don't know. We're about to see. But the next bit of news, the Journal of Anime and Manga Studies joins the directory of open access journals. So the staff of the uh, Journal of Anime and Manga Studies, JAMS, announced on March 1st that the the journal has joined the directory of open access journals, the DOAJ. The staff of JAMS described the journal. It says the Journal of the Anime and Manga Studies is dedicated to the scholarly analysis of anime, manga, cosplay, and the fandom surrounding these areas for researchers and for those interested in the anime and its culture. As an open access journal, JAMS aims to reach an audience of scholars both inside and outside the academia, encouraging public encouragement through the digital uh, humanities. Jams hope to Jams hopes to forego connections with anime fans, scholars, and higher education. Uh, Jam launches its inaugural issue or and launched its inaugural issue in 2020 and published the second one uh, last November. The directory of open access journals is an independent directory that was launched in 2003. Its index roughly uh, has 17,500 peer-reviewed open access journals covering the field of science, technology, medicine, and social sciences arts and humanity so i think that's pretty cool because it just opens up the network now a lot of people like uh hey what anime should i watch what sports anime what's this if you go to these journals right here it's already written down for you some of the top uh, sports anime what to look for for these genres you know what's isekai i mean it gives you your terms and i think that's a great source we need more sources like that so more people understand anime uh and the things they love this bit of news comes from comicbook.com and it's crazy because I just started rereading the manga again. I'm in Haikyuu. Haikyuu creator honors the 10th anniversary with some new art, which I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, the creator behind Haikyuu is celebrating the 10th anniversary of the series in some big ways and includes some fun new sketches. Harichi uh, Furudate's original manga series ended its run in Weekly Shonen Jump magazine a couple of years ago, and fans are still celebrating the uh, grand finale to this day, which, again, the first 10 chapters were easy to read. Uh, it's one of my favorite sports manga. It's, it's in the top 10. 
This includes the creator behind the scenes himself as he continued to honor the franchise long after the final chapter. Uh, with the series reaching its 10th anniversary this year, there's no better time for him to some, unleash, some, unleash some new sketches. Q will be celebrating its 10th anniversary with a slate of major new project, projects, and this includes a special visual from the author himself this uh new visual will be gathering various uh, fan favorites together for a special crossover featuring their designs from the final chapter of the series this means fans will get to see each of them in the years since the series came to an end and that's one thing that i like about sports manga you you typically see like the last day of school for whatever grade it is or whatever tournament they're doing and then it's years later when they're adults some of them might still be playing the sport professionally some of them might be cooks or whatever they might have like a special game or a get together or some shit pop off so um, let's see. The new sketches will be showcased with a series official Twitter account. And the first is a look at um, Fukura Dandi's Karuto Bokuto, who uh, was like basically the Frankie of the series. Hey, 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 hey. He'd always be yelling hey, and he could always just hit these smashes and shit like that. But um, we're about to go through. Let's go, let's go ahead and pull it up so you guys can go ahead and look at this. So. We're in here. Here goes uh, Bokuto, and these these kids these guys were from all different teams that faced uh, the crows, the clip crows. Uh, second look, we got Satari right here with his red hair. He was like basically a a demon on the line when it came to blocking because he would attack the ball and swat that shit down. Um, Third, we have the man here himself that kept the team up on his back, uh, Wakatoshi, and uh, he not a pretty much came up on him. Uh, Date right here, Date Tex. You know, if you hadn't watched IQ, if you hadn't seen, the, and there's more that are on the Twitter page. If you go to the Twitter page, there's so many more. I posted like six on my page. Uh, IQ is one of those series I really enjoyed. Uh, it really captured the essence of sports, teamwork, volleyball, and then also setting personal goals. It's one that I think everybody should read, along with Ice Shield 2021, Hajime no Ippo, Kokos Basketball. So take heed of that. Go to the official Twitter page for Q and look at all the new and updated sketches. For characters that you love, if you've never seen Q, still go look because those rough sketches are nice. And go back through the anime or read the manga because there's a lot there. This is the last piece of news. Jujutsu Kaisen shares closer look at the new sorcerers with uh, cool visuals. So, Jujutsu Kaisen is like selling out everything. The Zero has hit Japan. Oh, let me just dive into this. Why am I talking? Jujutsu Kaisen has in, uh, introduced some new Jujutsu sorcerers to the series with cool new key visuals. Uh, Gege's original manga franchise is currently enjoying more success than ever. Uh, before because nobody knew it was going to take off like this but the amazing world that's steeped in cursed te techniques sorcerers and battle has now hit not only J japan but america so um, though the main series has revealed students from the tokyo and kyoto branches the upcoming jujutsu kaisen phantom paradise paradise mobile game will be incorporating a brand new uh fukuoka branch with some new students uh, while, while the new story of the game is just for the game, it is still very much a mystery. Fans have gotten a much closer look at the two new students, Psyche Rindo, voiced by Rina Sato, and Kaito Yuki, voiced by Kotaro Nishiyama, and some new visual uh, key visuals that tease their perspective curse techniques. You can check them out. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to um, clip back over to the screen and look what was posted on Twitter because, I mean... They feel like a couple of characters that we already know, but I'm excited about this. So here's the uh, Twitter post, the new visuals for Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Paradise mobile game, which if you've not played any of the mobile games, get on it right now. Uh, I played, I think I recorded 18 minutes of Kobosuna, which it feels like Kobosuna. Uh, Rimaru for that time I got reincarnated in Slime. That mobile game feels amazing. The One Piece game, The Bounty Hunter, fucking amazing um and then also have seven deadly sins so check this one out too but they are both first year students at the uh fukuoka branch of jujutsu tech so what do you think about the visuals 
Are you guys excited? Is this something that you guys are going to be looking into? Um, because I don't know how, like, it, something weird happened with Jujutsu Kaisen. I feel like it, it was on a very good roll, and it didn't start picking back up again. Hey, what's up, Mom? Uh, it didn't start picking back up again until they had the film coming out. But I remember reading this and talking to Rich, and I'm like, yeah, once you get to the backstory portion of it, is crazy because it goes into why we're doing this, who's doing this, what's doing this, and it, it's just layered. And right now we're in this big kind of chonen exam tournament. I don't even say tournament; it's a game, and it's a game to keep people distracted. But it's also a game for the jujutsu sorcerers to lose. Basically, um, I think that I feel like there aren't that many anime that really go in depth like that like they have very very well done narrative and they're crafted well but the, it's, it's just not the same they're not creating these brand new worlds where everything is a part of its own game if that makes sense do you have something special something rare or something you simply need to move discreetly from one location to another all you need is uh, quite a bit of money, but to give us a call at 1-800-252-4666. Again, that's 1-800-B-Lagoon, and we'll get you what you want and what you need with little to no hassle to you. Looking for your voice to be heard? Have a passion and want to share it with those of a common mindset? Have a business or brand that needs to get the word out, but don't know where to advertise? Contact Black & Studios, a full-spectrum, cutting-edge podcast studio that services clients from all over the country. Black & Studios offers you more than just a podcast. We offer you an experience. In-house production from audio-video recording, editing, marketing, advertisement, and exposure with over thousands of people listening weekly. Black & Studios doesn't hesitate to back local businesses. So when you want your voice heard, Black & Studios has your back. Search Black & Studios on all social platforms. Email at podcast at blackandstudios.com or visit us at blackandstudios.com. And remember, it's Black & Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to here. Let's, we're going to go right into an anime and manga of the month. This boy right here, we have rankings of kings. How prosperous is your nation? How many powerful warriors it boasts? And how heroic and strong is its king? These are the criteria, the factors that are factored into the system known as the rankings of kings. The main character, Boji, who that little boy that you see in the blue shirt was born, the first prince of a kingdom ruled by King Basu, who is ranked number seven. But Boji was born unable to hear and is also powerless, so powerless that he can't even swing a sword. In consequences, his own retainers and the public look down on him uh, completely as an unfit king. It is then that Boji finds himself a friend named Kage, and Boji's life takes a dramatic turn. And I gotta say, Boji, Krillin, and who else did they show last night? Uh, there was somebody else they showed, and I was like, these three right here, like, she's a down-ass motherfucker too. But it's crazy because, like, how... There's a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of cursed souls, uh, curses on people, and then sit, hidden secrets. Uh, and some people that you think are bad aren't even, they're not even bad. They're just kind of misunderstood in this story. And that's one of the things I love because it's like everybody has an angle to be king, but not everybody has the angle to be king, if you know what I mean. Like not everybody wants to be king or have that stature some of them just want to have like a better life for this character that we're following and for me uh it completely changed my view on the character it completely changed my view on the show and got me hooked on it immediately so without further ado manga of the month is fire punch i found this one this was an 18 plus read so again 18 plus uh this is a, a series written and illustrated by tatsuki fujimoto and it was released on weekly shonen jump the plus website april 2016 to january 2018 in a frozen dystopia where inhabitants eat flesh to survive can the destructive power of fire bring salvation now i'm still in the early stages of this 
Uh, is it have me logged in? It don't have me logged in. Hang on a second. We about to. Oh no, they want me to. They want me to put in my government password on you. So we looked at this last time. If you hadn't got a look at the chapters, um, let me see if I pulled up on this stream. Make sure to go and look at the chapters because the very first deal we see is we see this brother and sister, and he has his his arm on this stump, and she's kind of hacks it off. And you're like, what the hell is going on? And then he's like, she's like, are you okay, brother? He's like, no, keep going. We need more. And when you're like, you need more what? They need more arms to distribute to the town to give them fire. We're about to pull this up right now. So I wanted something that was a little bit more gruesome. Here's our brother and sister. You see him walking like Tenjiro right here, right off of fucking Demon Slayer. But we get how many pages in? Uh, just two pages in and there it is right there. His axe is out, his arm's there. She cuts off his arm. Next thing you know, there is there's blood there. He's growing back a new arm and then they're delivering that meat throughout the town. And like to be the first couple of pages of a manga and for me to be like, damn, that's fucked up. But I like it. I like this story. I want to see where this girl, this world goes. Why is it called Fire Punch? And then you kind of start looking at the covers and you're like, I wonder if they can continue to develop new powers. But if the entire world is covered by ice or blessing from witches and it's this with this cold ass world where nothing can live, you have to eat your severed arms for people that can grow them back or people that can like because the brother could grow them back, back at a faster rate than the sister. It's like what else is going to happen in this world? They're at like the lowest of the low right now. So. That's your manga of the month. Again, I will say it for you. So you have both of them. Anime of the month is Ranking of Kings, which is phenomenal. It's 20 episodes uh, currently, I think, uh, on Crunchyroll, the only place to watch anime. And then Fire Punch, which you can find on Viz Media with $1.99 a month. You get access to that and a whole bunch of fucking more right now. I'm doing rereads. Not only do I have my weekly stuff where Black Clover was fucking fire, One Piece was fire, but I'm rereading. I'm in the first 10 chapters in The Prince of Tennis, High Q, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Phantom Blood, and uh, there's another one. And uh, again, you can find a lot of great works by a lot of your your big name mangaka that did Naruto and everything else in here that did get canceled. Zombie Powder uh, from uh, Tight Kubo, the creator of Bleach, is here. That was his uh, precursor, or that was the precursor to Bleach. Uh, he's going to give up because it wasn't popular and didn't get serialized. And then he talked to Akira Toyama and pushed him into creating Bleach. Um, What's name from Naruto created uh, the Samurai, Seven Samurai, which was a dope one, which was basically like this kid that could move his body using the virtual world to become the best samurai in this game. Of course, this game is trying to find the heir to uh, an old samurai warrior that's been fighting this eternal battle. And you find out like the battle is a battle of morals, basically. Is there a good side? Is there a bad side? I really wish it didn't get canceled, but I digress. I told you we had a quick show today, 34 minutes. You got your anime recommendations for this month. was weren't a lot. We went over the news um, and just stay following the channel. Get us up again. 290, 290 followers. I'll tell you about when I punch somebody and stop their heart. 300 followers uh, and 10 subs. We're going to go ahead and watch Dragon Ball Evolution and do the drinking game with that. But thank you guys so much. And we have a TikTok account. I will give you more information when stuff is posted there. Go to my Facebook pages. Go to the Elijah 5000 Bailey Facebook page and follow there because the, the reels are going crazy. I checked last night and I, I just put these reels up for the reason. Um, the trying to prove that you're worthy the Thor with Kate Bishop trying to push over Thor's hammer has like 15,000 likes on it. The fucking, what was the other one? Buck. we were looking at these last night. There's another one. Um, the ultimate muscles got 3000 views on it, but there's one that's got 17,000 like those reels, share those and comment in those fucker. The Kakashi one, that's was the Naruto hand sign one. Everybody's eating that up. I get constant notifications about that shit all the time. So we're like, well, Let's go ahead and do the TikTok because I got some some other gameplay, other videos and shit like that. So make sure to follow and join there. Follow. Uh, boom. Right over here. That's the Twitter handle, brother. Go ahead and click that. Follow. Uh, watch as I give live tweets. I'm watching different series, talking about different shit uh, this morning. 
I don't even remember that movie. It's the second movie of The Shining. It's got an old boy that's playing Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, and it was about him being able to use his his shine to connect to this girl before they were stealing people's steam and shit like that. There's a lot of good shit that we talked about in these streams. But follow. Uh, be here for anime streams. Call of Duty. I got a lot of shit coming. But thank you guys so much. I'm Elijah 5000. This has been episode 306 of The Elijah Bailey Show. And I will catch you next Sunday. Now, I am excited about this. The live action Boma for the Light of Hope series in our Boma in our hearts comic book aficionado anime expert Ruth Ann Thompson will come on a little bit of anime um, this Wednesday the 16th at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time so make sure to join us for that because she's going to talk about what it's like to be an actress comedian voice actress uh, basically be Boma the woman of many many talents a Swiss army woman if you will Thank you guys so much. I'm Elijah 5000 and uh, you guys have a great day. Make sure to follow like on YouTube, follow, hit the subscribe button, comment below, help out with the algorithm there and continue to come here. Twitch for the streams. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I am out. You guys have a great day. Hey, what's up, everybody? Elijah 5000 here. Me and the Buck, we appreciate it so much that you download this show each and every week. Again, we drop every Thursday. If you're new to the Elijah Bailey Show, go to Apple Podcasts, Podbean, or Spotify, or wherever you listen to this auditorial pleasure that you get weekly, and just subscribe, rate, and review. Thank you, and I'll catch your ass in the next podcast.